Alright, this is Owen from Team 67002F. And this is our early season robot named Susan for Over Under. This is the first robot we built. We built this in about a month. And I'm going to do a little quick explanation video before we tear it all apart because it's going to get torn apart for uh, next school year. We're going to rebuild a bunch of it, make it way better. So we'll start here at the front with the intake. And these are going to be 5.5 watt motors. We just don't have access to them yet. We have them ordered, but they have not arrived here. So they're just 11 watts for now. So right now this motor robot actually has nine motors on it or 99 watts worth of motors, I guess. But these will be 5.5s in the future. And our intake is very simple. It's just got a little gear train to move the motor further back into the robot. It's got two chains, one here, one under this piece of C-channel, just for extra security in case one chain breaks. You know, we still have another one, so we still have a functioning intake. We have half-cut flex wheels, just for smaller size and more compact profile, so we can fit under the net easier. These axles just have to be cut down, and then we'd fit under right away. And then we've just got a little bar for bracing, a little standoff here. This rubber band we actually used to rubber band our phones to the front so we could get like a POV video. That was pretty fun. And these little pieces of metal here that are bent, they just kind of, so when a ball is intaked, they shove it upwards a little bit so we can move it around easier and we can turn and the tripod basically doesn't touch the ground. It makes it harder to steal from us. And then our brain is right there, mounted in the middle. It's easy access, you know. And then I'll move on to the side over here where we've got license plate mounts. Behind that, we have our battery tucked away, hidden, so you know it's very hard to other teams to ram it and easy pull it out with just rubber band. And our drivetrain, we're using 3.25 inch wheels with a 36 to 60 ratio. Six motor drive, we have had zero problems with these being able to get over the barrier. You know, we have we have sleds on it right now. The sleds, really big, they work super well. We get over it super easy. And it's, yeah, 600 RPM, six motor drive, you know, all, you know, the works. Um, symmetrical on both sides. And then in the back here, this is our main systems. This is the, like, all the important stuff on the robot. This is our cata and winch so right here we've got the motor mount that's mounted really sketchily but that's cool because it works and that leads to here this is a motor shaft this 36 is meshed with another 36 back right here that one is on a high strength shaft that's connected to this 12 tooth and that one meshes to this which we have this is a ratchet axle we have Two ratchets engaging in opposite directions. This one meshes with the 60 tooth, and the 60 tooth is on the same axle as the 36, and that 36 meshes with our winch, giving us plenty of torque. And when we spin the motor the other way, this ratchet engages, which is our catapult slip gear. So when we spin one way, we have our winch, and we see our winch moving. And when we spin the other, we will shoot the cata. It's struggling right now because the battery is at 10% because, oh yeah, see, it just died. But um, yeah, normally it's it's very fast. It's We can shoot all 22 off in about 27 seconds, I think it was, when we timed it. And uh, yeah, that's our robot early, early explanation right here. It's the first robot of the season. We could have another reveal out hopefully by the time school starts.